Each of those high speed moments but also passing a nice slow pace. Amazing bite and ball skill at the same time. Polars, that's my thing. is a sport that's not dominated by like male only players like so many sports of the past you know all these sports that started years and years ago with these stupid arbitrary rules around gender um, you know people can walk up and watch white polo and be like holy shit there's like mixed gender sport going on here and it's fast paced and it's like energetic and it's like super fun to watch <laughs> I don't get as nervous anymore as I used to. I used to play polo tournaments and my foot would be like this on the pedal. But I get that less and less now. And more, now I worry more about injuring myself, you know, if I, if I go too hard or, you know, if someone puts you on the boards or whatever. Most of the time, you you know, you get this rush of adrenaline and that's all you come off feeling. And you see it when people finish a bike polo game. It might be the roughest game ever, but they come off the court and they're like hugging each other, thanking the ref, thanking each other. And then their other mates meet them outside the court and they give them some water or pat on the back or something like that. When I first started, there was a massive DIY phase where people were just putting whatever they could together. And just over the years, watching the sport naturally progress and get better and, you know, the, the polo wizardry, right down to like the amazing shots. The whole scene was so different back then when I first started playing because, you know, everybody was new to it and everybody was experimenting with bikes and with mallets and with play and the way that you move the ball and the way that you move your bike. So now if you're starting out as a beginner, you arrive and everybody's got these like four or 500 pound bikes, sometimes way more than that. They're custom built for bike polo. All these mallets are proper, proper products that you can buy from a shop. Whereas when we started, it was just gas pipe and a ski pole and you attach it together like however you decide best.
for me, there's no better feeling than when you're in your half, you know, and you get the most amazing cross switch pass up the court. That for me is more satisfying than scoring. Just like when you can really get the ball moving, like ticky tacky, like, and you see how some of the guys do it. They move over on the overarm and then peek it in the D. It's yeah, like for me, your head's totally in the game. And it's come to a point, I think, across everyone that nobody thinks tactically now. They play very instinctively. The mixed element is just like, for me, that's the future of polo right there. I think because immediately if you make something mixed, you take all that testosterone out of it. And I think that makes the game a better game and it makes the community a stronger community. Like that Berlin tournament is like the epitome of that. You know, it's the biggest and best mixed tournament you could go to. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three.